Hello friends, now we'll see an important property of Z transform that is convolution property of Z transform. Now we have started with convolution property because it is an important property as far as transform techniques are considered. It is generally used to convert a signal from we can say that representation from time domain to frequency domain. So first we'll see its uh, statement. It simply states that convolution in time domain that I'm writing x of n convolved with that y of n's z transform will be multiplication in frequency domain. So x of n z transform x of z into y of n z transform will be y of z. So now let us try to prove this property. So for that case, I'm writing it here. Z transform of directly x of n convolved with y of n is equals to we'll put the st standard formula summation minus 2 plus infinity this is its convolution x of n convolved with y of n into z raised to minus n now for further simplification first we'll try to find convolution convolution in time domain so we are having a formula for LTA system linear time invariant system that formula I am writing convolution of x of n with y of n will be summation k minus 2 plus infinity but the first sequence as it is that is x of k into second shifted by some units or some delays as y of n minus k this is the output of we can call LTA system and this is known as linear convolution also now if i replace this value here we'll get this equation as summation n minus 2 plus infinity next stop is summation k minus 2 plus x of k into y of n minus k into z raised to minus n now to simplify this we'll try to take the terms which are quite easy as common so first case I'm writing summation k minus 2 plus infinity this term will take outside as x of k because it is a function of k next we'll write or we'll collect all the terms of n <coughs> so n minus 2 plus infinity this is y n minus k into z raised to minus n and next step in order to simplify this always remember one thing if you want to find z transform or any transform we need a single variable function here it is n minus k so we'll replace this by single variable so i'm writing it here let n minus k is equals to m this is an important step so if i read if i read an n minus k is equals to m here we're having another variable as m so i can write n is equals to m plus k and this summation will change from m minus infinity to plus infinity so based on that our equation becomes k minus 2 plus infinity this is x of k into summation with respect to m into y of m into z raised to instead of n now we can write m plus k with a minus sign as m plus k now next step we'll split this term of z with m and k so this is k as it is this is x of k this summation with respect to m y m into z raised to minus m into z raised to minus k now we'll uh, assign this z m and z k to k and m so our function becomes this is summation with respect to k x of k into z raised to minus k into this is summation m minus 2 plus infinity y of m into z raised to minus n now if you observe carefully this is simply a formula of uh, z transform of x of n or x of k and this is y of n so i can write this equation as x of z this is its multiplication and this is nothing but z transform of y so this is x of z into y of z and this becomes our convolution property i hope you understood this property Remember, while proving properties, any properties, we should follow three steps. 
in first step try to write the given formula in second step you just go for simplification up to this one or we can say this is the second step and in third step always try to make a single variable function you can see this is x of k single variable and this is n minus k we are having two variables let n and k so i am putting this this will be our third step so by using these three steps you can find any property starting with linearity time shifting time reversal time scaling and so on in next couple of lectures i will try to make a video on all these properties in short thank you